So welcome to this tutorial on the Gratitude Planner. Let me just switch over to my laser pointer. Um, so this planner I created um, a year or two ago and then I redid it because um, it's something I actually used and had a lot of fun with. And when I created it, I didn't want to create your typical Gratitude Planner. There's a lot of great ones out there and I wanted to come up with kind of a different angle. So this one is just a little bit different because it's very focused. It's not open, it's not a different prompt every day. It's actually a little bit more on creating awareness for you. That's one of my biggest things is to help you increase awareness and reflect. Because a lot of times you'll go through and you'll fill out the journal and you'll answer the prompt, but you don't really process it. So what I want you to do is number one, increase your awareness and number two, take time to reflect, which will then also help you increase your awareness. So um, I want you to see gratitude in the real world, not just those few minutes while you're journaling. So it's a little bit more of a mission. I'm gonna give you a mission to look for things to be grateful for and then to reflect on on the end of the week. So we will go through the pages and that will make more sense as we get into it. So um, as with all my um, planners, when you hit the home button, you will get to this quick notes page, which is just a quick way to um, jot down some notes if you, find something that you want to journal about later, you can just jot this down here, right here on the home page. That way you don't have to worry about trying to get it into the actual page or making it pretty. You just scribble some notes here. They're quick and handy. And then as always, you can email me anytime. I'd love to hear how your things are going with your journaling and if you have any questions. This is a link to the Etsy shop. I have tons of really unique journals. Um, this is the website and this is the how-to. I do a lot of how-tos on how to use good notes, um, and how to use your digital planner. So that's all there for you. Then we have the next tab, which is your tutorial, which is what I am recording right, oops, I'm sorry, recording right now. This is the tutorial. And just to go back, this notebook is formatted for the Hub Notebook system. Um, if you're aware of that, then you'll know that this will fit right in. And if not, um, you can go get a free two subject notebook and you can also watch this tutorial, which explains what the whole Hub Notebook system is all about. So click the tutorial that will take you here, which obviously I have yet to record because we're recording it right now. Um, and then we have the bonus. So these are bonus pages that will help you um, have more fun with this experience. So one is an undated November calendar. So at any time you can go in and fill this out. And if you, again, if you aren't using November, you can put a big white sticker over this, or you can use um, the, the shape tool and put a big white block over this and put any month you want in if you're doing this at some other month. Next is, this is just where I wanted to make, I call it the bonus tab because I wanted to make it more fun and really I love to incorporate other senses into all the things that I do. So in this one, we're looking at um, some of the visual things. So make a list of movies that you want to watch. So I have a couple lines here. Um, pick movies that really make you feel grateful for the health that you have, your family, your city. Um, and there's a lot, of, a lot of great documentaries or true story movies that kind of, those are where I would go to look for a story that really motivates you. Um, I have a, an app called Gaia, which is a, a channel that I really like. They have some great documentaries on health and wellness. Um, but again, look for documentaries or true stories to really inspire you so that you're grateful for the life that you have or your family. Again, I just think that's very important. So have some fun, pick a movie a week um, to watch. Uh, maybe even find something on Netflix, you never know. Um, but it just gives you a little bit more of an enhancement on this whole theme of gratitude for the, the month. The next thing, this is my favorite, is create a gratitude playlist. Um, come up with some songs that are really empowering for you, that really make you feel um, feel good and feel grateful for the life you have. So they could be songs about, you know, family. They could be songs about love. They could be songs about, um, I don't know, just joy and sharing things. So put down some of those here, and then you can, you know, obviously create the playlist right on your phone. But you can always go back to these songs um, at other times when you're like, oh, you know, I really need to pick me up. What did I put on that gratitude playlist? So you can also ask people too, what's your favorite um, gratitude song or makes feel good song? One of my favorites is Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves. That's just one of mine. But, you know, have those as your go-to songs that you can always come back to when you need a little pick-me-up. So that's your playlist. And then quotes. There are obviously quotes that you come across in your life that are just like, wow, that's powerful. So jot down a few here and then you can reuse these quotes, you know, put them on the mirror of your refrigerator, um, you know, put them on you know, your screensaver if you have something like that, an app where you can do your own screensaver. Little post-it notes anywhere is a great way of doing this, but just, you know, as you see them, capture them, cut and paste and throw them in here so that you have them to refer to later. But I just, I think that's important to have some things, some, just some simple sayings that are kind of become a mantra, a go-to mantra when you're feeling a little frustrated and you feel like, oh, you know what? I just need to come back to this uh, feeling of gratitude and here's a powerful quote that can do that for me. So that's what this page is for. 
And then if you click on the Notes tab, it takes you to this Notes page that you can insert wherever you need to throughout the planner. Obviously, by just clicking this button, you can duplicate the page. And then, oh, don't need that. And by using this button, you can take that page that you um, copied. So you could take this page, you can duplicate it, and then you can just drag it wherever. Oops. Come on, drag for me. It's not going to drag for me right now. There you go. And then you can drag it wherever you need to. So that is how you use that. So that's your notes page. So how did I divide this? There's four weeks in your planner and each week you're gonna focus on a different thing. So week one, you're gonna focus on the people you can be grateful for. So you're gonna be looking at friends, family, but also service providers, acquaintances, and strangers, people that might do something for you or might witness something um, special being done by them. And just kind of keep, this is like a really fun one because it's almost like a Where's Waldo. You're on the lookout for people to be grateful for, people to appreciate, and then you're gonna um, journal about them. So. This is again where you might want to use that handy um, notes page just to jot down the ideas and then come back and journal later. So you're going to write down their name or who they were, you know, cart guy, you know, the guy who does the carts at Target or um, the person who bagged my groceries or something like that. It could be anything. It could be my postman or woman, um, anything like that, or just a good friend. And then just journal what's uh, special about them. So you'll see that there are six pages of this. So as you go through, each page is a little different, you know, same page, I'm sorry, but you can just see that the numbers are different. So you're gonna journal about six different people. So each day your goal is to look for somebody that you can appreciate. And then here you're gonna reflection like on, on the experience as a whole. As you are becoming aware, like who am I gonna write about today? What am I, you're, you're gonna be on this kind of, again, this hide and seek, or seek all day, this where's Waldo all day, looking for people to appreciate. So how did that feel? Did you find that there were examples everywhere? Did you start to see, you know, things that you just never noticed before, little details, little things that happened um, that made you feel like, wow, you know, there are, there's a lot of good in the world that I just was oblivious to because I wasn't looking for it. So I want you to journal, how was, how was your week different because you were looking for these important people, these people to appreciate in your life? And again, it could be friends and family or it could be complete strangers. Then week two, we're gonna appreciate your body. So we spend a lot of time <laughs> negative about your body. So you're gonna pick anything you want about your body. Um, we're not gonna be dealing in, with imperfections or things you know, to pick apart. So you're not looking at your weight at this point, but you're looking at um, any part of your body. So it could be like, you know, um, on day one, you're, you're really grateful for you know, maybe your legs and all the things you can walk to and all the things you can you know, get up and jump and the stuff that you can do because of your legs. And maybe day two, you're thinking about your eyesight and the fact that you can see all these different things. Or maybe it's your senses as a whole, the things that you can hear, see, feel, touch, taste, anything like that. So each day, pick a different aspect of your body and write why you're so grateful about it and be aware of that. So as you're going through your day, you're like, huh, what am I taking for granted? What can my body do? You know, the fact that you can reach out, the fact that I can hold this pen, the fact that I could create these planners. You know, what are those, some of those things? And again, it's to build awareness throughout your day of some of the amazing things that your body allows you to do. Again, jot it down on that um, quick notes page and then come back and journal about it later on. So you're gonna have, again, five days or six days of that. And then on the seventh day, how do you feel about your body? So reflect on your overall experience. Do you appreciate your body more? Do you love your body more? Because you're only focusing on positive things and the things that you could do or you can do. And that I think will give you a very, very different feeling for your body. So that's what this whole week is about, is reflecting on how much your body can do and how appreciative you are of it. Then week three, abundance. This is where we wanna look at how much freedom you have, how much space, time, belongings, food. We're always focused on the lack, you know, what's missing in my life, but take some time and really look at your surroundings. Look at the things, you know, when you sit down at the table for dinner one night, look at how much food is there and the fact that there's always food there. Um, look at some of the things that you're surrounded by. You know, we're always focused on, oh, you know, my TV isn't as nice as somebody else's TV, or maybe I don't have a smart TV, but you have a TV and you can do things on it that you wanna do. Um, you know, how much freedom, especially time freedom, especially right now with COVID, you know, we're so focused on the things that we can't do, but what are the, some of the things you can do? Like, did you lose your morning commute? And so you've got an extra hour a day that you would have spent in the car. Um, are you saving on gas because so there's a little bit more money to do some other things because you're not driving back and forth. So think about different things, you know, the ways in which you have so much abundance. And so pick things that could be big or small, but you're gonna focus on that for 
again, six days, how, are, how is your life abundant? You may just say, I have abundant health. I have abundant relationships with my family. I'm so grateful I have a phone that I can pick up and talk to my family, and not everybody has that. So again, focusing on different things, and it's a different thing every day. So for six days, focus on the abundance, and then you know, by now you know the drill. You know, Do you feel more abundant? Are you aware of how great your life is? Even though it's not perfect, nobody's ever gonna have a perfect life, and you're never, ever going to have perfection. There's always gonna be negative. So why not focus on the great things? Because you have a great life right now, and if you just take the time to look on it. So that's what you're gonna reflect on here. And then week four, knowledge. So again, I, I said I wanted this to be a little bit different. So I wanted you to be grateful for other things than you might normally do. So this week, you're gonna focus on some of the things that you know. You know, celebrate your skills your mental and your physical skills. What do you know how to do that others can't do? And I think you'll, you'll kind of, you may have to push yourself a little bit on this because you might be like, oh, I don't have any skills, but you do. And I want you to really think about how much you know, you know or how much you're able to do that other people aren't able to do. Don't take yourself for granted. So, you know, I might think creating these planners is very easy, but you know what? Not everybody can create a digital planner and not everybody wants to, but I can create these and I have a lot of fun with them. So that's one thing. You know, what skills do you have? Do you, can you cook? I am a terrible cook. Can you cook? Can you put together flavors? Can you look at spices and know which ones to use? That's the skill. So keep coming up with different things that you know how to do. You know how to drive a car. There's a lot of people who do not know how to drive a car and would love to drive a car. If you can parallel park, woohoo! <laughs> put that down, you can do something that I certainly can't do. Um, so there's a lot of things that you know, so celebrate your skills, and again, six days of that, and then reflection. So that's what I want you to work on. And we'll go back to the home. So, you know, again, it's, it's about being appreciative of your world and not doing it in the same way that maybe you've done it in some other gratitude journals where you just write a prompt and you respond. I want you to really pay attention to your world, really have open eyes, look out, see what's going on, and then, you know, take time to reflect on how grateful you are, how abundant your life is, how great your skills are, how great your body is, how wonderful the people are around you. So those are the four aspects I want you to take some time with, spend the month of November, or you can do it any month of the year. Again, you can you know, tweak this any way you want, depends on when you get this, but really have fun, really give thanks, because this is a beautiful world, and even with all the challenges we have, there's still a lot to be thankful for. So that's it, and we'll talk to you next time.